Hey, it's Jade from Hackney Barkers and I have my wet azalea here and today we're going to show you how to dry and brush your dog using your classic hairdryer from home. Let's get started. So this is going to be a quick tutorial about how to dry your doggy at home using a hairdryer and a slicker brush. So these little tips are coming from our mini series which is Home Keep so we can teach you how to maintain your grooms at home so that we can prevent knotting and prevent those horrible shave offs. So, one factor about after you've washed your dog is the towel dry. So you don't, if your dog has long hair, you don't wanna roughly dry them. You wanna make sure that you pat and squeeze any excess uh, water out. If you rough the towel around, the hair starts to curl around each other and then it causes knots, and then especially if you just leave them. So if you leave them to air dry after they've been damped like this, then them moving around and also them drying themselves by licking can cause knotting. And once you get one, then there are many, and then you've got mats, and then we have to shave them off, and nobody wants that. So let's avoid it with these tips. All right, so the tools that we will be using today is your hair dryer, slicker brush, including your puppy brush, detangle spray, and a comb. Okay, so I'm gonna use my hair dryer. You wanna make sure that your heating is not on the hottest. Um, the power is adjustable to how your dog reacts with it. So the way to hold it, or the way that I hold it sometimes, is under my armpit, there's like a comfortable way when we start brushing. So I always put it under the arm that I'm brushing with because that way the air is aiming where I'm brushing. If it's like this, also it's difficult because I really wanna secure the doggy as well. I don't want the dog to be thrashed around while I'm brushing. I've also noticed on Amazon that they have available ones that have a stand, which are really, really easy to use rather than using this, and you have a free hand as well. So we'll be linking the products as well that we've used. So hold the noise away from the dog first. You don't want to shock the dog immediately. By all means, dry around your doggy. It doesn't have to be a beautiful finish. We just want our dog dry. So you can do all over like this. Is that nice, Jose? <laughs> before we get stuck in with the drying and the brushing. So I'm gonna place the dryer underneath my arm. It might take you a few hits to, before you get comfortable. And then I'm squeezing with my arm and I'm holding the coat so that she's not moving around and I'm brushing. So just as you can see, I'm drying where the air is pushing the hair. And that's how you're gonna find your knots to brush through. And you're gonna achieve like a straighter coat as well, as you can see, like a nice little fluff. Okay, so when you're brushing your dog, you want to make sure that you're brushing to the skin, but you're not pressing hard. You also want to stay, not stay in one spot. So you wanna keep your brush moving around, purely because you can cause something called brush burn. Once your area is dry, you can move on. To the next box. So Azalea has allergies that we have worked out so she's actually been chewing her skin a bit so she's made herself little dreadlocks so that's what you can probably see around herself. All right so when brushing your leg she hasn't obviously the legs are more bony so you don't want to press hard at all and you want to keep it moving frequently and when lifting up the leg, just be very gentle, just a small lift up, and they generally lift up their legs. You want to brush around the foot where the foot is hanging, rather than, <laughs> rather than having the foot on the floor, just because of the bones in the feet can cause pain. The same with the front foot. Get out any of those wet feet tangles. Brush in any direction you want, whatever's comfortable for you and your dog. Good girl. So if your doggy wears a harness, the chest area is one, and also the armpits, are one of the most prominent areas for any sort of knots. So you can always use detangling spray. Give it a shake. You don't want to saturate the dog in, uh, or the knot if you do find a knot. So just a light spray and then brush around. 
and it really helps ease the knots out. Okay, so we're just working our way through the entire body and the legs, making sure that everything is brushed out and everything is nice and dry. So I'm gonna continue with the zalia and then we're gonna show you how to do the head. Okay, so it's the same process when drying the face. You just wanna make sure that the air doesn't go inside the ear hole or into the eyes too much. You know, you don't want something inside your face. Um, the way that I hold dogs, or the way that all groomers hold dogs, is by pinching, slightly pinching, a little bit of hair underneath the chin. So she obviously hasn't got that, so I'll just be holding her muzzle. Um, so if your dog does have a full face, then all you can do is just hold a little bit of chin hair, so it's just like from here really, a little bit of chin hair and you can move the doggy around. Uh, but what I also like to do is just put my thumb to block any eyes around. When I am working around the ear hole, I will pop my thumb over the ear hole, um, or you can pinch the ear slightly, like just move the ear back, and that's it. Be very delicate, because they don't have any fat, it's just skin and hair and skull, so no pressing hard. I've got the heater on very low, if not cool, actually. Positioning it underneath of my armpit, holding her face, and same concept. Just got a little bit of a knot here somewhere. So again, if I had a dog with long hairy ears, I would hold the ear, and same, I'd brush down like so. If I had a dog with a hairy muzzle, I would brush down like so. And that is it. <laughs> My little Elvis. <laughs> so now what we're going to do is comb her. So using a comb after you've brushed and dried is very important because it can help you find any little knots that the brushing may have missed. So when everything when you do, you always want to do everything so delicate. So you want to make sure that you're not tugging at the hair. So you want to hold the, the, the hair taut so that the skin is, sorry, hold the hair tight so that the skin is taut. Just gently comb through along the body. When doing the feet as well, so obviously just gently lift up the leg and comb. You can comb either way, it doesn't matter, whichever is easiest for you. You don't really want to squeeze as well, so whenever I hold a dog, it's so gentle, it's so delicate, because if I squeeze, like say if I'm doing, if I'm holding her foot and I'm squeezing, oh, she doesn't actually mind, but you see how they, they want to tug away, so you would just want to be nice and gentle holding anything of the dog. You want them to enjoy this so that you can do it all the time and that it's a pleasant experience. <laughs> She's looking at me lovingly. <laughs> ah, here we go. So I found it all nuts. So the one thing I'm definitely not going to do is yank it out. So what I'm going to do is either, depending on how knotty it is, is can I tease it out with my comb? Yes, I can, it came out. If I can't, then what I would do is grab my slipper again, hold the knot in my hand, and tease it out like this. I treat dogs the way I would want to be treated, so I, I've got a very sensitive scalp myself. Um, any knots that I find in my hair, because I've got curly hair naturally, is painful. So I treat the dogs the same way. So I don't want to be pulled at, I don't pull at my dogs. So I'm going to go through her entire body until she's completely not free and there's no more tangles. So we are brushed out. That was fun, wasn't it gang? Yay! <laughs> um, okay, so this brush here is our puppy intro brush. So we have a video where I use this on puppies. So if you have a puppy, you should get one of these, but also if you have a nervous dog. So if you have a dog who reacts badly to brushing at home, um, this habit is kind of brought on by only brushing your dog when they have knots. So it's like if I only brush, brush my hair when I have knots, it's gonna be painful. So I'm gonna associate brushing with pain. 
So if you've got a dog that has knots and you've just taken it to the groomer and it's just been shaved off, I wouldn't wait until they've got hair to start brushing again. I would buy one of these and I would just get them used to the feeling of the bristles. And then what you can also do is incorporate this at the same time. Well, not at the same time. <laughs> one after another. Like this, loads of treats, loads of praise, and then go back to this so that they don't get bored, they don't irritate with the feeling. And to just gently introduce them back to liking brushing. And so that's it from us. I really hope that we've helped. And if you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next video.